This is a video on how stuff works. The pellet gun. Good day to everyone. Hi, I am NJ Dr. Apilanes of Papua Institute of Technology. My students in strength of materials are going to discuss about portion. I hope you are going to enjoy and learn about this topic because it's going to demonstrate the activities and applications about our daily life. Thank you very much. Good morning, my name is Darren Reyes and I'm a student of Mapua Institute of Technology and I'm here today uh, as a representative of How Stuff Works to talk about how pellet guns work. So, as a child, you may have practiced or you may have tried pelling, playing with pellet guns. So, have you ever wondered how the bullets travel and how fast they go in relation to the mechanics of the gun. Parts of the pellet gun. Hi, I'm Luis Arcidia. Before we continue, I'll be first demonstrating the parts of a gun. Um, this is what we call the magazine. This is the barrel and this is the pointer. And in some case, we have a laser which can be used for more for easier pointing. Let's really what occurs inside the gun with the help of portion. We're going to understand the mechanics inside this gun. Now, when we count the gun, compression occurs inside uh, within the spring. These two parts compress the spring like that so that you know, for it to lock. So yeah, compression. And now when we pull the trigger, um, tension happens. Um, the springs are released and the bullet or pellet is propelled forwards. Now, with these two equations, this, uh, the equation for elongation and torsion, we can compute for almost anything, especially like the force or the elongation of the spring. Now, for the values of that, we know that we need the diameter of the spring and also the mean wages of the spring, the coil rather, and also the number of thirds the spring has to apply it to this equation. Now, next, my friend will be discussing how we can relate this to physics. So, uh, relating the torsional analysis of spring to physics. So, remember, we have uh, deformation is equal to 64 times the, the force applied times the radius of uh, radius of the spring uh, and then the diameter of the the metal of the spring and then the shear modulus of the spring so uh, what affects it is the shear modulus the diameter and then the radius of the spin of the spring so relating it to physics we have force applied is equal to force uh, force reaction or the force out. Force in is equal to force out. So, uh, isolating the force applied, we can equate it to force in is equal to force out. And then transposing all the values, all the other values, the equation of deformation, we get that the deformation, uh, the force is equal to the deformation times the shear modulus times the diameter of the spring times 64 over the radius of the spinning of the spring and times the number of rotations in the spring. The factors that will affect the acceleration of the pellet are, is the shear modulus, the length of the deformation of the spring, the radius of coil, the diameter of spring, and the number of turns of the spring. Mechanics is fine. Two, three. Two, three. Two, three. 
Oh, yeah, it's good. I don't know.